Good evening, fellow parishioners. Bob Bath here, 47-year United Methodist. Yes, I'm 55. UC Irvine biology major and secondary science teacher. This afternoon, I got my first COVID vaccination. My shoulder has been a little tender this evening, but that's something I've had with prior immunizations. So uh, I'm okay with that. It didn't. It's not going to keep me from playing guitar this evening. And I'd probably be more concerned if there wasn't any effect from it. Um, I need to know. I have some, you know, something concrete that says I'm building my immune system. I got my vaccination because I am very eager to teach my students face-to-face. -face. With comprehensive distance learning, students can't do hands-on, and that's the best way they learn, and they miss important body cues that show them how much I care about them and I'm proud of them. And uh, it's a tangible way that I love my students. I got vaccinated as an extension of my Methodism, actually. If I love my neighbor, I'll do whatever I need to do to transmit, um, to never transmit virus-laden droplets from my respiratory system. And if my neighbor is a fellow Newman parishioner, well, so much the better. I want church opened again soon, too. Um, if it's my mom or a business owner or a transportation provider, uh, so much the better, a healthcare provider. When Ryan asked me to speak about my vaccination, um, part of me feels that it's kind of preaching to the choir. Um, the reason I say this is as Methodist, your faith integrates reason and experience and tradition, uh, as well as scripture through the Wesleyan quadrilateral. So why would any of my fellow parishioners have doubts about a vaccine that has also been formulated through reason and experience? There's a popular misconception that scientists are not and cannot be religious, primarily because their supreme deity cannot be proven, because our practice relies on data gathering and direct observation. But just as a Methodist, seeks a closer relationship with God via music and prayer and experience and scripture are methods. Scientists employ the scientific method to prove or disprove building humanity's knowledge. We still seek something bigger that set energy and matter into motion. To quote a line from Star Wars, that which binds the universe together. And I could name drop a few pretty well-known scientists like Newton, Kepler, Einstein, Kelvin, Heisenberg, and many, many more who really got into their endeavor because they were seeking the handiwork of God. So because of the scientific method, I know that three or four vaccines have been found very safe and effective. 95% is fantastic. Um, I'd like to give tribute to Maury, Gran Maury Granger, who taught me a fabulous immunology class uh, when I was 23 and um, has contributed to our body of knowledge about arthritis and cancer and autoimmune disorders. Um, he passed away two years ago and, and just, um, just uh, again, joins a long list of wonderful scientists who are furthering humanity's ability to go forward despite COVID. So let's take it one step further for just a second and say that I passed away from the vaccination. There'd be an autopsy. And in time, scientists would find out why I didn't react to the vaccine the way that everybody else who had been thoroughly tested uh, with had. In the process, a better vaccine would be produced and my life would provide fellow humans one more gift of love. And I was prepared to accept that. I mean, it's an unusual and un unlikely thing to happen. But again, if we love our neighbor, greater, greater love hath, no, uh, no one hath greater love than to lay down his life for another. Currently, there have been no completed studies that any of you will be protected from me, just that I'm safe from COVID. So if you notice me still masking up in, at Fred Meyer or um, anywhere else, it just means I'm still loving you and still loving God. And for now, I'm praying that everybody else will uh, soon be as vaccinated as I am. So I wish you health, 
until then, and um, get vaccinated soon. It's important, and let's get back to church. Okay.